Considering the save is all about qualifying, considering the save is all about winning the Champions League, this is a kind of important day. We're going to find out who we're playing in in the group stage. We are in the second tier. Let's jump straight into it. Let's go through all the first ones. And looking at those teams, Zenit, Sevilla, or Porto would be very tasty. Let's see if we get Sevilla. We don't. Can we get Porto? We don't. Are we getting Juventus? No. Not buying. Not buying. Thank goodness. This is the only good one that we want. Zenit. Oh, we haven't gotten that. No, I have no idea who to pick. Real Madrid or PSG. Both of them are bad, and it's Real Madrid. Oh. Okay. And this seed. Salzburg. Kiev. Olympiakos. Don't get rid of them early. Salzburg's gone. None of the other ones are gone. I think we might be in luck, boys and girls. Olympiakos is gone. We've got the options of RB Leipzig. Probably the second best team behind Inter in the seed. Or Kiev. Don't be RB Leipzig. Thank goodness it's Dynamo Kiev. We've gone lucky there. In this one, just about all of them are pretty easy to beat. But Atalanta, Borussia Mönchengladbach and Marseille would be ideally avoidable. Marseille's gone, Borussia Mönchengladbach's gone, but Marseille, Atalanta's still there, sorry. And we've got the options of Atalanta, the hardest team in the entire seed, or Astana, the easiest team from Kazakhstan. Please be Astana. It's Astana. There's no way we're not getting through to the next round. Dynamo Kiev, Astana, Real Madrid, and Manchester City. Thank goodness. Hey guys, and welcome back to the fifth episode of the FM21 Manchester City Road to the Champions League save with me, Rax OFM, where today we are playing against Real Madrid away from home in the Champions League and then we're versing Leicester City at home in the Premier League. And since last time, we've done quite well. But before we jump into what we have done, make sure that you do like this video if you are enjoying the save so far, as well as subscribing to the Rax OFM channel so that you don't miss any of the daily football manager content that's going to be coming your way. And now we can take a look at the fixtures that we have seen so far. We have done pretty well. The Tottenham game obviously wasn't great on camera, but again, I say we just wanted to get out of it so that we could refocus on our other games in hand, and that's exactly what we did. We beat Crystal Palace 4-1. Then we beat Dynamo Kiev in our first game in the Champions League group stage, 3-1. And then, oh, it wasn't a great performance, but a 1-0 win is still a win. Away from home against uh, against Brighton, sorry. Decent result. And it means that in the league, we are currently sat in the top spot, three points ahead of anyone else, with the highest goal difference, ignoring the fact that Liverpool are on the same. But they're six points below us. We don't even need to worry about it. And in terms of the Champions League, we're just below Real Madrid. So if we manage to beat them away from home today, we will certainly go on to the top spot. So let's make sure we do exactly that. And without any further ado, we're going to jump into the first game of today's episode. It's going to be a difficult one. Easily the hardest game of the entire group stage. Don't know if it is a comfortable result to be starting the Champions League on camera games with but we'll go with it anyway we've got a slightly rotated squad out there with gabriel jesus depay foden gnabry ward prowse fernandinho walker stones laporte mindy and edison in the squad so maybe a couple of the big boys like aguero de bruyne and i don't know diaz not in there but it is still a very strong 11 and i'm confident that they're gonna get the job done De Bruyne is not looking very fit so i don't want to play him at all but if i need to i'll bring sterling aguero maybe even bernardo silva on see what happens let's jump into this game and hopefully we can come away with all three points and move ourselves onto the top of the table i mean realistically it's us in Manchester. It's us in Real Madrid. We're, we're Manchester. Real Madrid that's going to move on to the next round. So it's just whether or not we're going to be in the top spot or in the, not bottom spot, but you, you know what I'm trying to say. And we're actually facing one of our players, Ferran Torres, who has done pretty well so far at Real Madrid, getting one goal and one assist. So it's, it's insane numbers going on right there. But to be fair, he's only played three games. So that is actually very respectable i hope that he doesn't score a goal against us but if, if any of their players are going to score against us 
I would prefer it to be one of our players out on loan. But we're the team that look the most likely right now as we are on the ball. Have given it away quite quickly though. And they could be attacking us. But we pick it up once again. And this could be our highlight. As Ward Prowse plays it forward to Memphis Depay. Playing on that left hand side. Hopefully he can perform well today. And he's threaded through Phil Foden. It definitely wasn't Depay that played that ball. But it was Laporte who did. And that is a brilliant chance. And a brilliant goal from Phil Foden. A great pass back there from Mendy. And he just keeps his run going. You can see him in the corner of the screen there, continuing the surging run. And he has scored so many goals this year so far. He is turning into the star player pretty quickly. I'd rather have him starting than De Bruyne. That is a big claim. But he seems to be the better of the two players at this point in time. De Bruyne is doing a great job getting assists. But look, here's Foden again. Yeah, that one wasn't his best shot ever. But it was still a decent effort. And he's clearly doing a really good job in that cam position. I think De Bruyne, as a Mazzala, with Foden at central attacking midfield. It's working pretty well right now. I think Foden scored what, like six goals this year? De Bruyne's got like five assists. Yeah, there's some, there's some serious link up play going on here. I, I know how to work the tactics for this team. It's good teams that I'm good at managing. Average teams like New Zealand, yeah, it's a little more challenging. Although Valverde had a very good opportunity to nod Real Madrid back onto level terms there. So maybe I should be focused more on the tactical side of this game because Real Madrid is still a very good squad and they could hit us back at any point in time. They almost did there with two shots from Hazard, both being blocked. It's now coming to Jovic, but Laporte does manage to clear it. Is it Laporte or Laporte? I never know. There's so many names I'm not sure about. Like, is it Gnabry or Nabry? I think it's Gnabry. Why would there be a G there? You know, they can't... I mean, there's such a thing as silent letters, but it still would be confusing. I, I, I'm going with Gnabry, but feel free to correct me in the comment section below. It's 1-0 at halftime. We're doing a pretty good job, considering we are away from home against one of the best teams in the world. I'd say the fans should be pretty happy with this. However, the three shots that we've had all came very early in the game, so I'd like to be getting firing a wee bit better now, and we do have a highlight to hopefully do exactly that. Not a great throw-in by Mendy, but he's lucky that we do pick it back up. Ward Prowse with a great ball into the mixer, and I thought Gabriel Jesus would definitely be offside there, but he somehow stayed on, and he scored his first goal of the season, and we scored two goals like that with just a looping ball over the top of the defence, and that time it's from Ward Prowse. What a pass. And it's just gone over the top of the defenders into a place that they can't get to it, and it was this man at left back that was keeping him onside, Marcelo, and Gabriel Jesus finishes that one beautifully to put us 2-0 up. I don't know if it's completely deserved, but... Okay, actually, no, he's offside. You can you can clearly see his foot there is across the line. Uh, to be fair, Marcelo's foot is kind of... Uh, uh, he, uh, we'll go with onside. We, we'll take it. And he's managed to finish it. We'll get it. We'll, we'll definitely take it. 2-0. And with only half an hour to go, I think it must be wrapped up by now. I mean, I, mean, I say that. Real Madrid could very easily score two goals within the space of time but I think our defense is good enough to hold them out and let's hope that we do exactly that as I make my first substitution of the game and we're actually going to make our second one as well Laporte coming off just to keep him fit for the next game against Leicester City let's not downplay Leicester you know in real life there I'd say more of a force to be reckoned with than in Real and not in Real Madrid and football manager but there's still going to be a decent side so let's make sure that we have a decent squad available for it but maybe, maybe we should focus on this game as Riyad Mahrez, one of our former players, manages to get an assist against us. And with 20 minutes to go, yeah, maybe my comments about Real Madrid not being able to score it might be coming back to bite me because it's definitely going to be a tight affair in the last few minutes now. Ward Prowse is looking tight in that box-to-box -box midfielder role. I think he might be my next substitute. I'll wait for the 80th minute. Hopefully we don't see any highlights. We don't. He's going to have to make way. And we're going to bring on... Are we going to bring on Tommy Doyle? Yeah, we're going to bring on Tommy Doyle. He's a man that I've brought in just because we need to have players on the bench. But oh, he's even got the 6'9 on his back. That's brilliant. Nah, that's, that's a sign. He's going to do great for us in the last few minutes. Although that ball from Walker, not exactly brilliant. But Mendy picks it back up. Doyle can't get onto the end of that. It was a pretty terrible pass. Ake plays it back to Edison. Let's just make sure this this is our highlight and not Real Madrid. Walk up to Bernardo Silva, who's dancing with it, and I thought he was going to lose it. Fernandinho, Walker, Bernardo Silva, playing it across to Fernandinho. Tries to find a pass, but it doesn't find anyone, and now I'm nervous. I have a feeling there could be a goal here. Riyad Mahrez, he's already got one assist, and he's almost gotten a 
dribble pass. He's going for the shot. And luckily Edison saved it. Okay, that would have been a pretty bad way to go down in this game. But I think it could still end at level terms if we don't get a good result here. If we don't get a good chance, and I think we are getting a good chance. Bernardo Silva running down the right-hand side. Oh, it's a, it's a good tackle by Marcelo. I thought he was going to get a second yellow for that. But they're definitely coming away with a counter-attacking opportunity. Hazard's just dribbling past everyone, acting like they're not there. And I would have been very disappointed in Edison if he spilt that one. And with only a couple of minutes to go, five minutes of additional time. But it's going by very quickly. Let's not see a highlight. I don't need any highlights. We have a highlight. Edison to Ake. Edison clears it. And we pick it up, thank goodness. Tommy Doyle, oh, great pass. Cle clearly he's been absolutely dominating that midfield. That's the reason why we're still in this game. Memphis Depay moving it forward, trying to find a player, plays it back to Mendy. I don't mind that as long as we keep it and Marius takes it. Marius has turned into a real thorn in our side, but he did just lose it there. And now we could be counter-attacking. Are we going to put ourselves 3-1 up? Vanessa Silva is doing it himself, but he blasts it over the bar. But I still think with only a couple of seconds to go, I thought it was going to be it. But they have a chance from a corner in the last few seconds they put it in oh and it's gone in but i don't know what's happened in the bottom in the box Varane's hand balled it and we're still in the game that looked like a goal to me i, I mean you can't really tell handballs and football manager the pixels aren't very big but we've come away with the win that's the important thing that was really special um especially stressful at the end but we'll definitely take a win there great result great performance and it means that we are on the top of the champions league table as well as the top as the premier league table let's make sure that we stay on top of the premier league table as we go ahead and face leicester city who is seventh place like come on let's let's not downplay it they're a good team okay leicester have moved down to eighth place but still let's not downplay this one they are a decent side. I'm trying to create some intensity going on here. And this is the team that we're going with for it. It is a brilliant 11. Aguero, Gnabry, Foden, Silva, De Bruyne, Fernandinho, Guerrero. I was just making sure I pronounced that right. I can, I can never remember. Guerrero, Guerrero. It's not, it's not that hard, but I, I get confused easily. Laporte, Diaz, Cancelo, and then Edison in between the sticks. Let's jump into it. Let's make sure we come away with the win, just like we did against Real Madrid. I mean... I know I've been trying to not downplay Leicester, but if we can beat Real Madrid, surely we can beat Leicester City. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. there are, no disrespect to Leicester. I've been showing a lot of respect to you boys, but you're not, you're not as good as Real Madrid are yet. Like, let's be realistic here. Let's not beat around the bush. It's, it's just a straight up fact. But they are coming away with a good opportunity early on. Wasn't a very good opportunity actually, and now we could have a chance. Clears it long, Edison. And can we win the knockdown? We don't win the knockdown. We do get it back, though. Phil Foden moving forward, looking for a shot, and he's already hit the woodwork. This man is absolutely on fire at the moment. I've never played with him in Football Manager, but clearly in this save, he is getting his potential well up there into the regions that it's maxed out at because he is playing absolutely brilliantly right now, and let's hope it keeps going. But Leicester are coming at us, but it's a great tackle by Guerrero. And now Gnabry can move forward, looking for a pass, looking for something. He does find Bernardo Silva, kind of. I mean, we'll, we'll give it to him. It, it ended up working. We won't give that to Bernardo Silva, though. Terrible to get tackled there. And we've now given the opportunity to Leicester to break away. But they're just wasteful with position at this point in time. And you know what? I think they're going to be wasteful again. Look, there's no one in that position. I don't know why you're blasting it like that. Just calm it down, Leicester. Shouldn't be complaining about this, but it's bothering me. Aguero's in. Looking to play it back, finds Bernardo, and he does score. Bernardo Silva with the finish, Aguero with the assist. I mean, you would expect it to go the other way around, but I don't care. As long as it's in the back of the net, it's it's a good thing for us. Bernardo Silva with a decent ball through there, and they just complete the one-two. I'm not sure if it was completely intended to be a one-two, but it's ended up working, and we're one-nil up on the night. Ten minutes gone. Hey, at, at that rate, we're going to end up winning nine-nil. So let's see if we score another goal within the next ten minutes. Okay, maybe maybe four and a half now, based off this ratio now. Maybe more like four, actually. So it's, it's st quickly gone downhill, but we're still winning in this game. And it could go even more downhill, as Leicester's on the ball. But, yeah, of course, they just spray it long. They're not doing very well in this game. I'm sorry, Leicester. I was respecting you highly before this match. You're playing pretty shockingly. And let's just make sure that they don't end up scoring three goals after I said that, because... Yeah, then I'm going to look even dumber than I already do. De Bruyne collecting the ball after a poor ball in. Well, it's actually a blocked ball in. I don't know. It could have been a good ball in. He gets another bite of the cherry, though, and that time it's a lot better. And, oh, how has that not gone in? Gnabry had the opportunity. 
came off the goalkeeper and it fell to like three people's feet and none of them could sort their feet out. Couldn't get the shot away and it's still only 1-0 on the night and 15 minutes ago until half time, I would like to get another one. If we get another one, then it's calm. De Bruyne is standing over a free kick and it's just killed past the post. I would have backed him from that range, really, but he hasn't been able to finish it. And only five minutes to go until the half time break now. I'm, I'm holding up five fingers, but I, I, I always forget I don't have a camera. I feel, I feel like I remember that I don't have a camera, but I just just do it anyway and we've hit the woodwork once again how many times do you want to hit the woodwork boys and girls it's it's actually just boys i mean i know you got to be inclusive but but let's be honest here they're, they're, all of these people they're, they're boys so I, I just needed to say boys there but it's not a good finish like we just want to see that go into the back of the net at least come off the post and go into the back of the net just a few inches to the left de bruyne don't do it again i thought he was going to hit the woodwork but this time it's just gone wide of the post just like his free kick and we are unlucky to not be higher than 1-0 up in this game. And we are unlucky to have Phil Foden pick up a knock there. And I'm not going to try and aggravate that. I'm not taking the risk. He's going to have to come off. We're going to bring Sterling on and move Silva into, into camp. Can, yeah, I thought Silva could play Cam. He'll do, he'll do a good job out there, right? Right? Hopefully. Sterling can play as a supporting winger. And we'll see how that goes for the next half an hour. We're still definitely not confirmed winners of this game. But I think based off the way that Leicester have only just gotten two shots, it's pretty pretty confident that we're coming away with a win. Unless we give away like a corner late on. They nod one into the back of the net. That's actually stressed me out now. I really hope that they don't get a corner and nod one into the back of the net. 20 minutes to go now. Could we add to our tally? We have an opportunity to do so right now. And uh, uh, if that's a penalty, I feel quite bad. It was right on the cusp, but I think it was just inside of the box. He has been pushed. I think it's going to be a penalty. The referee is reviewing the incident and it is considered to be. Drumroll, please. Uh, yeah, it's a penalty. I thought it was going to be a penalty. Who's going to be taking it, though? I actually have no idea. I'd, I'd imagine Aguero or De Bruyne. Maybe Aguero. I think it's Aguero. No, it's, it's De Bruyne, apparently. Okay, we'll go with it. I trust him. He's got it just past the post on two occasions today. Can he get it into the back of the net? The, the referee's walking right in front of him. Okay, no, that's fine. Um, <laughs> cranked some suspense, isn't he? But the suspense isn't necessary. He's managed to put it into the back of the net. Cash Michael can't get a hand to it, onto it like he did in the um, semi-final of the Euros. But luckily Kane did put it into the back of the net in the end. But De Bruyne didn't even need the second bite at the cherry. He's done it first time of asking. And now we can relax a wee bit more. I think we're coming away with the win. Ten minutes to go. Can we add to the tally, though? Like, I wouldn't complain if you... Boys wanted to score another goal. Actually, I'd be very happy if you boys wanted to score another goal because you haven't exactly shown that you've got insane goal scoring prowess at the moment. So we're going to make our final substitutions of this game. Gnabry's going to come off just because he's tired. We also brought Fernandinho off because, I don't know, he's, he's played a bit of football lately and Rodri hasn't and I want to give him a chance. All the logic there is to it. And come on, like, 2-0. We're going to win this one. Can we score a goal in the last few minutes, though? Well, was that a highlight? Was that a chance? I don't think it was. I think it could be Leicester's opportunity to get a consolation goal. Surely it would only be a consolation goal if they scored this late on. Or maybe we could have another last chance to break away. Fafana playing it all the way back to Casper Schmeichel. Plays it forward. They're not booting it long. They're not, they're not panicking. See what happens when you don't panic, Leicester? I think, I think I gave them too many tips, actually. I'd like to keep a clean sheet. De Bruyne does collect it, though. And now we clear it long. Is it getting to anyone? Nah, okay, Fafana's just... Collected that one, but Memphis Tobias tackled him, and now he's throwing goal, playing it into Aguero, one more to Sterling, and to seal the deal, he puts it into the back of the net. See, see how calm my voice was there? I, I just knew it was going into the back of the net. Brilliant play by us. Depay with the tackle, then Aguero with a nice nod on to, well, it's not a nod, but, you know, knock on to, who, who was it again? Sterling, coming off the bench, fresh legs, goes around the goalkeeper, and finishes his dinner. Couldn't do that in the Euro semi-final, but he could do it against... Leicester City in the Premier League and we've come away with a 3-0 win. Great result, two good results in today's episode and I don't think we've lost or even drawn a single game all season so far. We are absolutely flying to start this year and the people that were saying, oh yeah that's right we did, did lose in the Carabao Cup, but the people that were saying, you know, I'm getting sacked by Christmas, look the Christmas has come around the corner and it's going to be a very Merry Christmas for us at this rate. And at this rate, I think we're going to be winning the league this year. Well, obviously, if, if we keep winning every single game, we'll probably 
going to end up winning the league. But, uh, you know, who, who knows? Probably probably come back next episode and be likely to be sacked. But we are going to be coming back for this Liverpool game. And then we're going to simulate four to versus Real Madrid once again. So you get two Real Madrid games back to back, two to different episodes. That's brilliant content from me. But that is where we're ending today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you don't forget to subscribe to the Raxel FM channel as well as liking this video because it's good for the algorithm. I didn't set a like goal. And I won't. You know what? Let's let's keep it steady. I, I want to see what you guys can do without me reminding you to reach a goal. It did remind you to like, though. So maybe I shouldn't ask to like. See how many I get. Probably be like two, to be fair. I'm pretty forgetful. So I don't blame it if you guys forget as well. But make sure you do like this video. Subscribe. Thanks so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all later.